By the end of this lesson, you should be able to describe applications of Archimedes' principle, solve problems involving Archimedes' principle. Have you ever wondered why a ship made of iron and steel does not sink? In the previous lesson, we learned that Archimedes' principle applies to both floating and submerged bodies and gases. Let's observe a ship made of iron and steel. We know that solid metal is denser than water and it will sink. But what makes the ship float? A ship made of iron and steel has hollow compartments filled with air. Due to that, its average density is less than the density of seawater. If the weight of seawater displaced is equal to the weight of the ship, the ship experiences a buoyant force and stays afloat. What happens to the ship if more weight is added? Use the slider to increase or decrease the weight of the ship. If more weight is added, the ship will float lower in the water. If too much weight is added, it will sink. What happens to the ship if the density of water changes? The density of water is affected by temperature and salinity. Salt water is denser than fresh water. A ship floats lower or higher depending on density of the water. Many commercial ships have a symbol called a load line painted on each side of the ship. This symbol, also called an international load line or plimsoll line, marks the level to which the ship can be safely loaded. As cargo is brought on board, the ship submerges and the symbol dips further into the water. A hydrometer is a device used to measure the density of a liquid. Let's explore how it works. What happens when a hydrometer is placed in a high-density liquid? When a hydrometer is placed in a high-density liquid, it floats higher. What happens if it is placed in low-density liquid? When a hydrometer is placed in a low-density liquid, it floats lower. From the simulation, you saw that when a hydrometer is placed in a low-density liquid, it floats higher. Why?
When a hydrometer floats higher, it means the volume of the hydrometer submerged is smaller. In high-density liquid, a smaller volume of the liquid to achieve the buoyant force is needed to balance the weight of the hydrometer. Why does the hydrometer float lower when placed in a low-density liquid? In low-density liquid, a bigger volume of the liquid is needed to achieve the buoyant force needed to balance the weight of the hydrometer. A hydrometer is a device that applies Archimedes' principle. It floats to a different depth in different liquids, depending on the density of the liquid. A hydrometer is used to measure the density of a liquid. A submarine is equipped with ballast tanks that can be filled with either water or air. In the situation given, the ballast tanks are filled with water. What happens when water is removed from them? Click on the Remove Water button and see what happens. When water is removed from the ballast tanks, the submarine floats. Why? Removing water in the tanks reduces the total weight of the submarine. As soon as its weight decreases and the overall density of the submarine drops lower than that of the surrounding water, it experiences a buoyant force which pushes it upward. When the submarine is floating on the water, its weight is equal to the buoyant force. What happens when the ballast tanks are filled with water? When the ballast tanks are filled with water, the submarine sinks. Why? Filling the tanks with water will increase the overall weight of the submarine. Its overall density is higher than that of the surrounding water, and thus the submarine sinks. How is the submarine kept at a particular depth? To keep the submarine in particular depth, the submarine maintains a balance of air and water in the ballast tanks so that the overall density is equal to that of the surrounding water. Observe the hot air balloon. What happens when the flame that heats the air is bigger? Click on the slider to increase the flame and see what happens. The flame is bigger, the hot air balloon rises. The flame heats the air in the balloon. As warm air is less dense than cool air, the total weight of the balloon is reduced. The buoyant force equal to the weight of cool air displaced is greater than the total weight of the balloon causes it to rise. Observe the situation. What happens to the balloon? The balloon descends. Why? 
When hot air escapes through a valve at the top of the balloon, and there is no flame heating the air in the balloon, the temperature of the air in the balloon reduces. The air cools down, and density of the air in the balloon increases, causing the balloon to descend. How is the balloon maintained at a certain height? To maintain the balloon at certain height, the flame heat certain temperature to keep the density of the air in the balloon equal to density of the air outside.